Welcome to another session of H Library tutorial series. And um, today's section brings us to how to place code on any book found on the OPAC. So um, you search for a book and you want to tell the library that, hey, I'll be coming for the book. Um, I'm not around at the moment. So um, keep a, a copy of this book for me. So when I come around, you give me the book so that I can take it home. Uh, read it for three days, one week, and bring it back. And that is possible. You can do that remotely. So um, today's session will take us through how to perform such an activity on the OPA. But note very well that um, if you want to place school on a particular book, you have to be an authenticated user. You have to have a username and password before you can proceed to perform such a functionality. So looking at my screen over here, you realize that I, I have logged in as a uh, Mr. Obede J. And um, immediately when you log in, you this is the interface that you will see. This is the interface that you will see. And when you click home, uh, it brings you to our basic or the normal home page of the uh, UPA. So we still um, using the principles of marketing as our example. So this time around, then we want to place code on this particular textbook and we want to tell the library that uh, we will come over and take this book soon. Um, a copy should be left to us. So you select, uh, first of all, you select the book that you want to place, you type the book that you want to place code on uh, to see whether uh, such book is available in the library. We click on go. All right, so we have uh, 21 uh, results. So assuming I want to place code on this particular book that is uh, the principles of marketing by uh, Fortler and Armstrong, and um, I want to tell the library that uh, a copy of this book uh, should be put down for me. And I'll actually come over for that book. So we click on place code. Then um, immediately you do that, um, you have a confirmation page. So we have confirm holes for Mr. Obereje. And then um, before we click on place hold, because the system is asking you where you are going to pick up the location. So let's go back to see where the actual book is sitting. Is it at the business and management library? Is it at the applied science library? Is it at the um, ACIM library? So you realize that it's at the school of business and management library. So we click on place code. Actually, the school of applied science that you are seeing over here means that when I was registered as a library user or a patron, um, I was registered under the school of applied science and engineering library. So by default, the system brings um, or put up the, the particular library that I was registered under. But since I'm not going to pick up the book from this particular library, I have to select the School of Business and Management Library. Then we have the show more options. You can also specify a particular day that you think that when you don't come for the book, the system should automatically cancel your your hold on that particular book. So we move on, see if you don't want to specify any data over right here, you move on and just click on confirm code. After this section is just for ATU book, which we all know that uh, what we selected is actually a book sitting in the library. So with everything checked, uh, we click on confirm hold. To the moment, um, you click on confirm hold, you realize that uh, the system automatically in your portal tells you that uh, you have placed hold on this particular book. You have placed hold on this particular book. And this is actually um, the day that I placed hold on this particular book. So um, if you're a student and uh, you place hold on any 
book. Um, the system is set to give you the expiry dates. But however, um, when you are not a student, as you are saying, uh, maybe you are a library staff. That's why you are not seeing never expires. But uh, the system is set in such a way that when you're a student or any faculty member, we have set a uh, expiring date for you. And also we have status that is uh, pending because you've not actually come for the for the book. So when you come into the library after placing hold on that book, um, when a book is uh, checked out in your name, you see the pending change over here, meaning that uh, the book has been checked out in your name. So if you want to cancel your hold, you can also do that. You feel like uh, actually you don't want to come for the book anymore, so you can proceed and click on cancel. Yes, cancel hold. So in your portal, uh, once again, when you come for a book and uh, meaning that when the library checks out a particular book in your name, you see all the books that have been checked out in your name, meaning that you see all the books that have been given to you to be sent home and returned back when you are done. When uh, the book is also returned, uh, there is also a check-in. So when there is a check-in, you see all the books um, that was uh, previously checked out, and when it is checked in, you see that you have no books in your portal. So take note of these things. So whenever a book is being checked out, quickly enter your username and password to confirm that uh, these are the books that are checked out in your name. Whenever there is also checked in, quickly log in to make sure that you have no books in your portal. You can change your password, you can change your your personal details, when there are messages, you see them, your search history, your reading history, you can see them in your portal. Thank you once again, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel at ATU Library.